FNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a very pleasant and sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we've got a mixed bag to start our day. You got the Dow down 129 points. The other, uh, the trainers are off nine points as well. The other U.S. indices trading to the upside. S&P's up two, basically flat. 33 points to the Nasdaq, 22 points, a little over one percent for the Russell 2000. Semis up six tenths percent. That's a 27 point move there. Gold's up four bucks. U.S. dollar index is back about two cents. You got so. Over, but it's basically flat. Lights recruit is off a buck. Natural gas is flat out there. The 30-year Treasury up four ticks, printed out at 118.24. Let's figure out what that means by looking at that nine-panel market update chart. Upper left-hand side, we've got the ES Mini. What do we know about it? No topping pattern. It needs a bearish reversal candle to confirm a Rhodes Mintum indicator top. Price is above the top of its daily profile, but slightly below its green oscillator and change line. So it's lost some momentum. Still remains bullish with price being above the top of that bearish structured daily profile. The uh, spot volatility index concurs with that call and that it's bullish because it is now below the 50-day exponents moving average. That gives buyers the edge. The NASDAQ 100 yesterday and today pulled back, tested and rejected thus far the top of its daily profile. 17,924 is a key level to watch. If we close below that, we likely see a move to 17,793. The U.S. dollar index has been consolidating with inside its daily profile for about two weeks right now, bottom of which is 103.71, the top of which is, I'm sorry, the bottom of which is 103.67, the top of which is 104.42. Gold consolidating in between its profiles, rising and descending trend line. Not a lot happening there. Silver consolidating with inside its profiles. It's got support at 2250, resistance at 2360. Light sweep crude testing that resistance level again, both the top of its daily profile at the 7843 level, as well as descending trend lines. If price can close above that level, well, then we've got game on. In fact, you could end up with an A to B equals CD to the upside. Natural gas, it's got to buy the D point pattern. Price is trading above the top of its daily profile. It's been struggling, though. The key level now that price needs to overcome, I'd say the high from the 21st at 1877, 1.877. If price closes above that, we likely had higher. 30-year Treasury, it's just a good old-fashioned consolidation with inside profiles. That resistance is showing its strength. That's up at 119.22, and support is between 117.21 and 118, even Stephen. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge Show, but if you have to start your Tuesday, please have a terrific one. Thanks for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.